This is taking too long. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yo, bros, this is we to play the Brenton Bostrix of YouTube. Welcome to Pokemon Legends Arceus. You can probably tell that things have changed since the last time I actually went and streamed this game. And yes, a lot has changed. I can't continue the post game. That's right. I've already reached the post game because I just got sick of streaming with nobody watching. But here's the thing I can't finish the post game because of a certain Cresselia glitch. You probably saw the YouTube channel video by now. It's got over a thousand views. Let's just clap it up for that. My pain is someone else's entertainment. So, here's the thing. I learned that there is a way to somewhat reverse this, I guess. From what I've read, and I'm not going to tell you all the details, but from what I've read, there's a button combination you can put on the title screen. Much like if you're trying to erase an older Pokemon game. That will revert to a secret save file that, if I've read right, takes you back to when you first went to a certain location. Like this snow-filled tundra over here. There's my mouse, this thing. So I can go back to when I went here. Here's the problem. I already left and did... Lots and 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 lots of other things. So, this isn't what you think it is. Maybe you read the map. The map. Maybe you read the tile, although now that I'm looking at the tile, that's wrong too. But, uh, I'm gonna have to fix that. We're not playing this tile. We are starting a brand new Pokemon Legends Arceus file because as much as I read the problem should be resolved by next week, it is next week and now I'm getting word that Game Freak hasn't even acknowledged this. So it is time for a second profile, a second start. We are starting from the very freaking beginning, but here's the thing. I'm going to make this as entertaining as I possibly can without any experience. This, friends, fans, and fam, is the equivalent of a Nuzlocke. Not a complete Nuzlocke, but the equivalent of one. There are going to be some completely different rules. I'm just going to call it the Wild Lock. It's a, such an original name, I'm sure. I'm not going to focus on the story. I mean, there are stuff that I need to do within the story, but I'm not going to read all this dialogue. Not again. What I'm focusing on is trying to stay alive. This is... <laughs> this is going to be just such a trial. I'm going to be a guy this time because this is the equivalent of myself. Being stuck in the Hizui region. But the Hizui region is not kind at all. And all those times where I was able to get away with certain things like death, no more. This is hardcore, baby. This is live or die. Hey, and Adrian's here. Oh my gosh, someone actually came. Yo, Adrian, welcome. It's kind of like a Nuzlocke. I will explain the rules as best as I can. I wish I could list the rules, but here's the idea. If a Pokemon faints, it's gone. There's no healing it. So in that way, it's a Nuzlocke. However, I can catch as many Pokemon as I can. The only rule is I can only catch one Pokemon per species. I can only have one Pokemon per species alive. And that includes, like, Rallet to Dartrix. I can't have both a Rallet and a Dartrix. So 
So, something like that. I don't know if it's possible to skip this awesome cutscene, but I guess I'm going to do it anyways. Because <laughs> I gotta move. I only have two hours. I only have two hours to do this. I'm glad I'm streaming anything, to be honest. But I don't have a lot of time. And I'm gonna be picking a different starter this time. I love Cyndaquil. I love the Hazuian Typhlosion evolution. Yes, there's gonna be spoilers, so deal with it. But I think this time I'm going to pick Rallet. Because that's one I could have seen myself actually choosing earlier. Like I said, we're just skipping story components. I don't know what I pressed. I'm just gonna mash the button, guys. I'm, I'm sure it's going to work so well, mashing the button. Because I just... I don't want to read any of this. <laughs> But this is going to be a much harder version of what I've already played. So grinding must be done. There are trainers that will completely destroy my Pokemon if I'm not ready. But one advantage I have, whether or not you find it fair, is I know what some of these trainers' Pokemon they're going to be using. Like, I know I'm going to be fighting a Gumi. I know I'm going to be fighting a Munchlax. So I can prepare in that sense. Uh, let's see. Hold on. I need to move this thing so I can read the chat room. Adrian says, basic rules one. Only catch the first Pokemon per route. <laughs> this isn't a complete Nuzlocke, Adrian. This is, like, inspired by one, but... I mean, you tell me what a route looks like. I guess there's, like, different locations, like... What was it? Hot Hoof? Plains? I don't know what it was. The one with the Rapidash. Okay, here's another rule. This is a big one. No Alpha Pokemon. I cannot catch any Alpha Pokemon. In fact, fighting Alpha Pokemon... Probably wouldn't be a good idea either, so I'm going to try to avoid Alpha Pokemon whenever I see them. And here's the biggest rule. The big one. If I get hit by an attack, even once, that counts as a loss. I mean, I may change that rule, but... New rule... If I get hit by a Pokemon attack, the run ends. Now, I don't know if the run ending means that I just cut the stream or what, but... I'm gonna need a new temporary save profile anyways, just in case this Cresselia bug is not fixed. And aside from just challenging myself in a fun, creative way, if this Cresselia bug is not fixed, I need another profile where I can finish the post-game. That absolutely has to happen. So I'm killing two birds with one stone. It just depends on which birds they are. If they're Spira, we're in trouble. <laughs> So here is Rallet, which will be my pick. Cyndaquil, which was my female uh, ancestor, but not actual in real life pick. And Oshawa, who's just there. N nothing against Oshawa, but I don't know. It's not my preferred Pokemon. And honestly, I'm not crazy about Hizuian Samurott. I mean, it looks cool, but that's definitely not a starter I would have seen myself with anyway. So, a, a final evolution that m me, myself, would have been all that happy using. I didn't know what the Hazuian evolutions were going to be like or look like uh, when picking my starter, which w was Cyndaquil at first. 
Look at this. Look at how much faster. Look at how much more productive I am <laughs> about catching these Pokemon. You are not dealing with an amateur, Professor. Also, I think I wasted a Pokeball. It doesn't matter because I'm not going to get every single Pokeball once I start my adventure for real. This is just the tutorial. Can't skip it, so sorry, speedrunners. That, that part kind of sucks. But there we... Oh. <laughs> right, that was scripted. Let's try again! I'm just casually throwing Pokeballs, but... If I need to be serious about it, I guess I'll try to wait to... Him in the back with a back strike. But right now, I am just trying to get to the first location so we can start this out proper. Uh, Adrian says the equivalent of roots would be the specific areas in the map, like example, Nature Park. So yeah, you're not wrong, but I feel like that would be too rough. I could upgrade to something harder than that, but I feel like this game's already going to ring me out as it is, so... Maybe a little less harder than the Nuzlocke. Just a teeny tiny bit. But, in equivalent to that, I cannot be allowed to get hurt. Because, Pokemon are strong. They are scary. If they are not handled correctly and they're not befriended, they can be very scary and dangerous. And I want this run to reflect that. This isn't a three hits and you're done thing. No, you only get one freaking chance. And if you get hit by an attack, that's it. They can't save you. You're dead meat. <laughs> I feel like this might be a little too much, but I just want to make it interesting. So, let me know what your thoughts are. Maybe I'll do a proper Nuzlocke. I mean, there's other games I could do a Nuzlocke for. Pokemon Legends Arceus is its own beast. Excuse the pun. I just feel like it needs to be treated differently than most Pokemon games. Which is fair to say, and absolutely, um, the game reflects that. I just don't feel like a regular Nuzlocke um, is the best way to do this game. Because there's ways where it's easier because you can take more than one hit. Technically, you don't black out when you lose all your Pokemon. Um, and... It's also harder because some of these trainers do not mess around at all. If you are not ready, if you are not prepared, you will lose a Pokemon, period. That is inevitable. There is, like, no... No solving that. Hey! I know you! Y you're all very glaring at me. Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna be very, very good buddies, I can tell. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to spoil too much, but no, I have finished the base game, so no, I do know things that players that haven't finished the game probably don't know, so I've already said too much. But I'm gonna try not to outright say what the spoilers are. Also, say hello to Hizui and Dawn. She has, uh, quite a look to her. I don't know if the rules... Not the rules. I don't know if the dialogue is different for a female companion. What do you mean my antivirus didn't find any threats? That's a good thing. Why are you bugging me about that game? Not game. My computer. Uh, give me a sec, Adrian. I'm saying things, trying to skip text, trying to do lots of things, but let me check your comment you just put. 
option rule is if you die, a random Pokemon sacrifices itself to save your life and dies. If you ran out of Pokemon and died, game over. That's not bad. Hmm. I mean, getting hit by one attack? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's where the problem is. Like I said, Pokemon are devastatingly powerful beasts. I could make a rule about how big or powerful the Pokemon is, but I just feel like that would complicate things. You only die if you take three hits. I feel realistically, in real life, it would just take one attack to down you. Maybe not kill you, but completely make you drop to your knees and beg for mercy before the Pokemon. When I will stop that conversation, because it's all very game, way too gruesome. But this isn't your typical Pokemon game. This isn't, you know, tame Pokemon and befriend every single one of them. These things... I called Pokemon things. I do apologize for that. These Pokemon, these monsters, should not be underestimated. And I feel like even a single attack from, uh, like, a Wurmple using a string shot on your legs. You'll go down. <sighs> okay. So, I'm, I'm kind of making a big deal out of this. I'll take your optional rule to heart, Adrian, but I think I'm gonna twist it in a way. I feel like if I lose health, it doesn't matter if I get hit once or twice or if there's a beeping red screen. If I get hit by a single attack, then the Pokemon will sacrifice itself. I think that's the only way that could work. Because I'm trying to keep it fairly realistic. And that means that I can't just summon Weird Deer to run away from a battle. No, I have to do a, a lot of this on foot. In fact, we're probably going to ban some of these rideable Pokemon. Unless they're absolutely necessary. Like... Uh, whatever that new Hizuian Weavile Pokemon is. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called for some reason. Why can I not remember what it's called? Sneasler! I was trying to think Weave something, but Sneasler. Also, also... I think I'm going to put on autosave so I don't have to worry about saving every single moment I can or that I forget to save. Usually that's not a good idea, but... Unless I do the same Cresselia glitch I did and I already know how to avoid that, I don't think there's any real harm in having the game auto-save itself. Eventually, if I fail entirely, I could just catch some new Pokemon. Okay, but what about the starter? Adrian, I need to ask you this. If I fail to run completely, should I still release my starter? Or should I keep the starter as, you know, a way to get back into the game. Um, just in case something goes completely, you know, wrong. Something like that. So I haven't even been in this option before. Wow, tech speed is always set the fast. That's cool. I didn't even notice that. Vertical motion autosave. Oh, it is enabled! That's why! Okay, I didn't realize it was auto-saving. Shoot! It's been on the entire time! How the heck did I not notice that? Ouch! Uh, should I turn up the background music? I didn't realize that was low.
Hmm. I don't know. Okay, so all stays been on the entire time. Rip everything I hoped for. <laughs> uh, but like I said, Adrian, my one and only question is if I lose my partner, like my starter, to a Pokemon or it sacrifices itself, should I really release it? That seems like a bad idea. So you tell me how I'm gonna get through the whole game with a Wurmple, let alone a Beautifly or Dustox. I mean, it's possible, and there's plenty of other Pokemon I can catch too. But if I fail this run, which there's a good chance I will because I have not practiced for this at all, I might need a plan B to get through the rest of the game. Okay, so why I'm skipping all this dialogue, I am going to try to fix the title of the screen. So for right now, I'm going to call this the Wild Run. The name's pending, but for right now, that's what I'm going to call this. Wild Runo, because I can't stop pressing the right buttons. No, I can't stop pressing the wrong buttons. Boy, there is so much dialogue for this game. So much dialogue. Anyways, the title's been changed. Oh, right, 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 right. Don't, don't jump too soon, Brenton. You might pick the wrong Pokemon. Although, I think I have to walk up to one of them and choose it. I don't think I could just press the button and then it automatically... Nope, it doesn't. Alright. Here we go! Hizuian! Decidui! Coming up because... I like that Pokemon. If I didn't pick Cyndaquil, I would have picked Rowlet. So, there we go. Nuzlocke starts by doing the mission of catching Bidu, Starly, and Shinx. True. I mean, if I still get attacked. <laughs> I hope I'm uh, ready for this. Should there be a limit on how many Pokeballs I use? I mean, there's definitely going to be a limit on how much I grind for materials. Because that just seems a little too easy to keep hitting the same rocks and grabbing the same weeds or whatever they're called in order to get materials. But if I'm just focusing on doing that, I feel like uh, that wouldn't... I feel like that would make it too easy, I guess. No. So, I think you're saying no to limiting how much material I can get. I mean, it is gonna be hard as it is. I think the one thing I won't use is revives. Revives are banned. Like, permanently banned. You cannot revive a Pokemon. You can heal them with potions, but you cannot revive them. So that sounds pretty good, I think. So is this the part where I dress up for my job? Oh, not yet. I gotta go through this whole thing first. Okay, here we go. Say hello to Volo! I have no idea uh, what's gonna happen with him in the post game. I had an assumption, but I think my assumption's wrong. Do not spoil anything for the post game because guess what? I haven't seen it. Still stuck on that Cresselia glitch. That's part of the reason I'm doing this. Okay. No, no, no. It's fine. It's it's only my first battle. H how can I lose my first battle? <laughs> I only have one move! 
Togepi, if you get any crits, I swear to Arceus itself. Or the Great Sin or whatever we're going with. Alright, this is fine. This is fine. I don't know if it's even possible to lose this battle. Your Pokemon only has one move, and none of it is defensive, so... Yay! My buddy Rowlet is level 6 now and knows a new move. We need to nickname him, though. Him or her. We don't even know which gender it is. Oh my gosh, what if it's a female? That would be kind of cool. I'm not gonna be soft for saying, by the way, for certain genders. Uh, Adrian says I haven't finished the post game yet, but I already did on accident. The shaman request. I'm in the middle of the shaman request, and I already read your whole thing about it, you catching it in a Pokeball, but... Uh, on my real game, you know, the one where I'm playing as a girl, I haven't caught Shaman yet, but that's something that I can try to do later. It's not a big deal to me. Oh, it is a male. Well, we can change his name. Technically, Nuzlocke rules say that you shall nickname your Pokemon. That way, it's an even bigger deal when you lose them, so... What do we name our owls that I really hope I'm not convinced to actually release into the wild? What do we name him? Lego? Legolas? Uh, okay, but why? <laughs> like, what game is Legolas from? I'm willing to take... Um, request, because I need to get through this sooner than later. But what made you come up with the name Legolas? Just curious. Here we go! How long have I been recording? Almost 30 minutes. Perfect. <laughs> hey, at least I made it through two and a half episodes worth of length. So, I think I'm on a pretty good streak, since I'm not reading every single word that shows up. <laughs> I love these animations, these facial expressions. I mean, even your main character has them. I don't think they have them as frequently as the side character, but... What happened with Dawn and her thing? Also, her name's not Dawn. It's Akai? Akai? Now I gotta learn a new name. Gosh dang it, game. Akai! Akai's introducing me to Aspiration Hills in the Obsidian Fieldlands. The adventure has officially begun. Oh dear. But remember what I said, only one species um, can be caught at a time, as long as it's alive. So I can't catch a second bee doof, I can't catch a bee bear after I catch the bee doof, I can't catch a bee doof after I evolve my bee doof into a bee bear. Simple rules. And I'm going to follow my lovely strategy that I came up with. My main game. Perfect. <laughs> uh, well, rip, rip that. I lost my first Pokeball. It's a good start. Can I slip past you, not Dawn? No? Gosh dang it. I will catch it. Just give me a second. I was going to go to a different patch of grass, but fine. No, I guess we won't do that. Also, I think I have to bow the Pokemon at some point anyways. That said, I should still be able to do a few things that the game's not going to prompt me to do. You know, like getting berries out of the tree. Alright, like, oh, come on. Okay, can I maybe, like, lob this high enough? Take that, game! 
take that! Legolas will be stronger. He has to be. They all have to be. So I think this is the one that where I need to hide in the grass. Yep. Yep. No, no, no. It's fine. I know what to do. I've done lots of this. Let's see if I can get, like, the back strike. Turn. Turn. Turn, darn it. Turn. You're not even coming close to turning. Please. Other way. Good gravy. <laughs> Should I just take my... Just skin the ball. Gosh dang it. Uh, anyways, Legolas is a Lord of the Rings character. He's an elf that is an efficient archer. Okay, that's not bad. Too bad my soon-to-be Decidui, hopefully, is not an archer. He is a wing-to-wing -wing combat fighter. Prefers to get up close to fighting things. The heck? <laughs> Is that the same tree I just... No, are you serious? That can't be the same tree. Say hello to Legolas! I don't think we're friends quite yet, but we'll... We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> Alright. The Shinx. Oh dear, the Shinx. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> no, no, I'm the cocky one this time. Although, you know what? I kind of am like that in real life too, sometimes. You sure I can't just catch the Shinx? No? Okay, we're fighting. Here we go. My first wild battle. Level 7 Legolas versus level 3 Shinx. This should not be a problem. Let's start off with Leafage. Nice. That is perfect. Oh wait, I still need to catch it, don't I? <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Last time I defeated the Pokemon and I didn't catch it. Well, let's see if this works. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to hope Tackle would do just a little bit of damage. Just enough. But we are done! That silly little side mission is over, and now the real game can begin. After we get some potato mochi. <laughs> Can't have enough potato mochi, right? Okay, here's a community question. If you could have any other flavored mochi, what would it be? Let me know in the comments. Because why not? Well, so far, so good. Could be worse, that's for sure. Could have lost at this section. That would have been really bad. So in case you haven't noticed, we are not focusing on completing the Pokédex. We are not focusing on completing objectives in the Pokédex. We are here to survive till the very end. To resolve the distortion happening in the sky and to essentially get home even though technically we don't actually go back home but we don't need to actually know that <laughs> Silene congratulates us yes it's a girl I know sorry I thought it was a guy I, I don't even want to talk about that 
don't know, sometimes I just look at facial expressions and body shapes and hair, and then, then I think, okay, well, it looks like a guy, so it must be a guy. And then it turns out to be a girl, and I just sink that much lower in my chair. Time to get my outfit. My Survey Corps outfit. Unless you guys want to see me dress up in a shaman kimono or something, but I don't think I have that. I have the casualty. Oh, that's the same thing. Survey corpse. Oh yeah, I guess I could change my eye color. Uh, that's not bad. Technically, I have green eyes. Yeah, I, I guess I could go with the green eyes. It's fine. It doesn't matter. I'd like to think I have blue eyes, but green looks nice. That's why I kind of have a bluish-green OC character that you probably have noticed somewhere on this OBS screen. the character's eyes are green and blue at the same time. Green at the top, blue at the bottom. Oh, I think I forgot my hat. Whoops! My bad. Sorry. Don't worry! I will solve these problems! All of them. Uh, report to- oh, right, Kamado. All the way up here. Why do I not remember going up to the second floor? I mean, apparently I do, because that's what I'm doing right now. But for some reason, I think I just kind of didn't even mention that. We're going to need to be ready for Kamado's Pokemon too. They are going to be tough. This is not going to be easy at all. If I wasn't accounting for trainer Pokemon, or trainer's Pokemon, I mean, this might be just a teeny tiny bit more easier. But... We're just going to pretend we are in a time frame when there was no way to heal Pokemon. If they fainted, they're gone. There's no coming back from that. Now, I will say there is one exception because it's not possible to resolve this, but... Every time you finish a battle, the Pokemon is revived and healed. If I lose a Pokemon during a trainer battle, then it doesn't matter if the Pokemon's revived. That Pokemon is still fainted slash dead. But as for the Pokemon that get healed, fine. It's a free heal. I'm not going to complain about it. But I can't stop that from happening anyways. Like in a lot of recent Pokemon games, now that I think about it. But if a Pokemon faints in a trainer battle, I can only assume that Pokemon is no longer usable. So, after a few more cutscenes and dialogue things, I think we will be ready to start. Wish. Me. Luck. Because Arceus forbid I'm going to need it. Uh, oh no. We got a shiny rule now. Uh, Adrian says optional rule. If you find a random shiny Pokemon, you are 100% allowed to catch them. Oh, right, I need to craft items. Whoops, my bad. I'll accept that. 
because I really like shiny Pokemon. <laughs> That's my only excuse. Okay, let's craft this stuff quickly so I can actually get out the door, catch Pokemon, grind, and whatever else in order to really, really deep dive into this game. There we go. 20 more Pokeballs. Done. Made. But I gotta remember, I'm not gonna be able to use Pokeballs all that much anyways, because, like I said, once I catch one Bidoof, I can't catch another unless that Bidoof faints. That's the only exception to catching another Bidoof. Otherwise, it kinda breaks the game in half a bit. Oh dear. I don't know if Bubby Fresh is going to come into the stream. I mean, he'd have to know about the stream first. I'm not sure if he knows about my, uh, Twitch account. I just wish you two would stop fighting and yelling at each other, because it's so uncomfortable for me. I just don't enjoy that at all. I'm not gonna be doing optional, um, quest as well, so you're not gonna see me catch that shiny Ponita. I mean, I could if you guys want me to. That's like the one mission I might do. But I don't think that's necessary. I think that's just giving me an extra advantage. And when that Ponita faints, nobody's going to be happy anyways. Oh, okay. So Adrian's requesting that I release the three Pokemon I caught mandatorily because they don't count in the Nuzlocke. I kind of agree with that. Though it's definitely scripted. I mean, it's not that hard to catch a Shinx, Beedoof, and Starly. But at the same time, it's not hard to catch a Beedoof, Shinx, and Starly. So yes, I'll do that. So regardless of what you just saw, I only have my Rallet so far. Yes, thank you for teaching me how to tuck and roll. Really appreciate that. I'll definitely be using it a lot. Oh gosh, what are we gonna do about the boss Pokemon? Oh gosh. What am I gonna do? Oh, oh, I didn't think about any of this. <laughs> Alright, well, this is gonna be fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, here we go. So, we're going to start off... By releasing these Pokemon. I just remembered that I have a option to select multiple Pokemon. But I can't do that unless I visit the ranch. So... I don't know if I can be allowed to go back in the town to uh, do that. Or if I'm even allowed to do it at this time. But it would make things a lot faster. I guess there's only one way to find out. Hi! I haven't done anything. Perfect. <laughs> oh, good. Um, I'm glad that you are discussing... Uh, this stuff with your therapist. Can I not... Can I not do that yet? Hmm. I don't know if I could do that yet. There are people that are not going to be very forgiving, as we have both learned. The only thing I could say is ignore them. If they're just going to keep... 
you know, attacking you about this, just ignore them. Don't say anything. Oh, what do you want now? Can't you see I'm in the middle of a very perilous mission? Yes, I know I need to catch tons of bee doof. Which, unfortunately, already breaks part of my rules. <laughs> but I, I digress. Let's just do this. I can also fight bee doof. There's nothing against fighting them. This uh, grinding thing is going to be very, very painful. Well, the good news is, Bidoof is docile, so it's not even going to attack me even if I throw a Pokeball at it and it breaks out. Jeez, I gotta keep talking to this person. See, um, you're, you're really teaching me how to do all of this again? But I already caught these exact Pokemon! Come on! I already caught these exact Pokemon doing the exact same things. That's, that's kind of dumb. I'm just gonna be blunt. That's really dumb. Stoily, please don't wig out like that. That doesn't look good for the camera. Boom! Back attack! Stoily caught. Still felt scripted, but we're gonna let it slide for now. And then there's Jinx. Now this... This is where the real challenge begins. Don't, don't, don't go in the grass. I'm not in here. Please don't look. Uh, remember where's... Yes, I do remember a lot of that. I mean, you're kind of giving yourself away because Adrian's also here, but... I never forgot a lot of those accounts, for better or for worse. I'll be honest, I'm just glad you're not upset with me. Uh, Adrian just called Bidoof. I just called Bidoof. <laughs> okay, wait, you told me to release those Pokemon, though. Okay, hold up. I, I feel like there's some misconfusion here. You told me... To get rid of the previous Bidoo, Starly, and Shinx because they were mandatory Pokemon. And why this also feels mandatory, technically I don't have them anymore. They didn't actually faint, but I released them, so I guess that counts. Look, I feel like there's going to be a few loose ends because, yeah, you're not wrong about that. And Pikachu, Undertale, I'm glad you're trying to change for the better. But, like I said, going head-to-head -head against Butterbee Fresh is not helping either of you. So that's why I say if he does that again, just ignore him. If he doesn't have a reason... Um, to bother you, then hopefully he won't bother you. I don't... The worst part is, there were some nasty things that happened back in the days. Without mentioning what they are, because I won't, there were some nasty things that happened that make it very hard um, for people to get forgiveness or ask for forgiveness. But, I want to believe you do want to change. Also, that weasel. I need to watch out. Those things aren't nice either. 
Uh, Agent says, it's not mandatory. Your B-Doof is the only one allowed. Release those Australian sheep. I already did! These are different. These are not the same Australian shinks. I caught it right after catching B-Doof. I don't know how to exactly prove that. But these are not the mandatory ones. The fact is, and I'm going to check my Pokedex for this. Let's see. What? Uh, oh, because that research level zero, so that, that doesn't count. Hold up, hold up. Okay, yeah, 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 here it is. So I caught two Bidoof. One of them was mandatory. I released that. Same with Starly. One of them was mandatory, but I caught the one that wasn't. So, I think I'm in the clear with this one. I think I'm allowed. <laughs> we're, we're really going to go with the Route 1 thing? I said this wasn't exactly a Nuzlocke, Adrian. No, 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 no. I'm not accepting that. We're doing it my rules. This isn't a true Nuzlocke. It's called the Wild Run. Maybe Wild Lock, but I'll just stay the Wild Run. This is different. This is totally different. I'm not, I'm not accepting that. It's just I can't catch another one after I've already added one to my team or my box. I, okay, run. I do have a Growlit now. So, I can attack with Grass-type moves, but I kind of want to get my Rally up to level 10 first before I risk anything. 69, nice. Uh, Undertale says, nice to people. I'm nice to people on Xbox One, but sometimes people on YouTube can't start drama with me. Look, I'd like to just not have any drama, to be honest. Part of this was my fault for allowing role-playing in chat rooms anyways, which I've kind of stopped for the most part. Uh, let's see. Effects, headache, heartache, me. Okay. What am I doing right now? <laughs> I feel like I'm aimlessly wandering around, which is typical for an almost open-world game, but... I feel like I need to have a plan in place. Okay, part of that plan is not letting the Alpha Rapidash see me. I'm pretty sure I could be lenient with that, but I don't want to take chances with that. No, thank you. There's another thing you have a problem with? Oh, misspelling words? Don't worry about Pikachu Undertale. I do that all the time. There's a weasel right there. He's just chilling. He's just chilling. He's perfect. I even got the back attack. Yes! Weasel's been added. We need a water type. This is good. I've got a grass type. This is really good. It's so hard to find grass types in this game sometimes. Oh, we got a Wurmple. Luckily, I don't have to worry about them attacking me. So, I'm just gonna chuck a Pokeball and hope for the best. There we go. Wurmple caught. Will it evolve into a Cascoon or a Silcoon? Let me know your thoughts or don't. What is that? What is that? I'd almost want... Is that a Starly? Yep, that's a Starly. Cool. All they got is Starly. Don't have any Pokemon that I can necessarily fight it with that I'm all that comfortable in. Well, no, I got Shinx. I got Shinx I can fight Starly with. I need to... Yikes. I'd rather fight a Starly than a Weasel, I can tell you that much. 
Uh, but I need to train my Pokemon. That is an absolute must. So, as much as I skipped a lot of... Well, excuse me. All of the story dialogue, for the most part. We've got a long game ahead of us. Long game. Okay. I feel like you should talk to your therapist about... Dealing with people that... Well, not dealing with people. Let me rephrase that. I feel like you should talk to your therapist about um, how to cope with people who don't or who won't forgive your past mistakes. I feel like that's a topic that should be definitely touched on because that was like one of the big issues with the stream that I had to take down. Not necessarily a stream, but a premiere. Either or. But that's just my suggestion. You could take that to heart if you want. I would suggest it, but it's up to you. I just want to prevent what has been happening for a while. I don't want any more of that drama on my YouTube channel, on my Twitch channel, just nowhere. Absolutely nowhere, no more. I'm very firm about that. So, I do want to clarify, running is- there's a Ponita? Oh heck yeah! Running is allowed? The thing is, I can only run so much because uh, there's an invisible stamina bar, per se, because I stopped running after a while. Luckily, Ponita is docile, so if I mess this up, it'll either stay put or run. Ponita added. We got fire-type, grass-type, and water-type. We are doing good. I do need to start, you know, attacking Pokemon soon. But when I go to grind against a Pokemon to attack them, I need to really focus on trying to get those backstrikes. Because if I could get the backstrike on a wild Pokemon, not catching it, but battling it, it will be unable to move for two full turns. That's a big deal. That will be hugely helpful. So. Right now I'm trying to get my Shinx up to a high level. Although, I'll be honest. Hitting these trees is only benefiting Shinx. If I want to benefit my whole entire team, I have to bow a Pokemon. Or catch one. Because I've been catching some. So, maybe it's about time I chose a battle. So, you know what? Let's do this. Just turn around, Starly. Because <laughs> everybody wants to, me to wait for this. Are you sleeping? What are you doing? Is it just resting? Starly's eyes are open. It doesn't know this, me. This is very embarrassing, but... There! Also, does Shinx have any electric... Thank goodness. Shinx has Thundershock! That's exactly what we need. Okay, I can one-shot Starly's. The game is officially beginning. Although I still need to be careful. Okay, hold up. There's one more thing I have yet to really kind of focus on. And that's the fact that I do need to update my Pokédex in order for Pokémon of a certain level to obey my command. So that's still important. I'm not going to be catching Pokemon willy-nilly, so I feel like I need to focus more on doing a bunch of battles with them. 
Because catching more of every single Pokemon is against the rules of this run. So, can't do that. At all. Period. There's no exceptions for that. So, we need to find a whole lot more Storlies! And destroy them. Also, Wurmples. We need to do something about the Wurmples as well. I'm gonna try not to talk to her yet. <laughs> because I'm still busy over here. I'm gonna focus on making Starly stronger so we can start pecking the Wurmples. And so Starly isn't getting too hurt from Wurmples tackling said Starly. By the way, we need names for these Pokemon. Uh, Pikachu Undertale, you can help support this. Do you have any ideas for nicknames? Any at all? Heck, we can call one of these Pokemon Chloe if it was a female. Yeah, we got a female, Beedoo, Starly, and Wurmple. Is any of those Pokemon worth the name Clo Chloe? I'm not sure about Wurmple, though, because I don't know if Wurmple's going to evolve into a beautiful butterfly or a scary-looking moth-like thing. I, I don't know how to explain Dustox, but it definitely doesn't look as pretty and nice as Beautifly does. Let me know if you have any ideas for nicknames. I'm going to be here for quite a while. Can't wait for it to become nighttime soon. In fact, I can see the sun going down. There's no music, though. No, where's the nice music? I want pretty music playing. I'm sad. Run past the shinks. I need to be careful because now I'm getting into an area where there's going to be stronger Pokemon. Like Luxray. Well, okay, not Luxray. Luxio. Luxray's the stronger one. Luxio's the second evolution of Shinx. But still, very strong, very scary, and very I don't want to deal with that. But I guess I will still focus on uh, getting materials. I don't know if Adrian's still here, but I feel like there should be one other additional rule. And that's that I can't just go to my base camp whenever I want in order to craft new items and Pokeballs. I feel like that's a good idea. My gosh, I have an hour left. No, I only have an hour left to record, guys! Where all that time go? I need so much time and space, and this joke's been overplayed, but you probably haven't heard me say it enough yet for you to realize just how overplayed it is, but whatever. No, thank you, Shinx. I'll stay over here. I've done this before. I shouldn't be afraid. Also, drowning. Can't be allowed to drown. If I drown, I die. I don't want to die. And here's the other thing. The only Pokemon that could save me... Brenton, don't do that. Oh my gosh, I can see that rock rumbling. I'm not doing that. The only Pokemon that could save me from drowning is a water type. So if I don't have a Pokemon that can tread water like Bidoof or Bweasel, then I'm done. Th there's no saving me if I fall into the water, despite the fact that there was a Hizui and Growlithe that was able to swim, even though it's a fire and rock type, so that doesn't make any sense, but... This is my thing, so I decide what rules are canon and not. 
I don't think Adrian's here, by the way. No! Don't notice me, Shinx. I need to have way more battles. Right now, I'm just trying to find trees and other things that I can bop. That way I can get my Pokemon's level higher. But something tells me I'm running out of that option. So! Back to battling! Shinx, you are going to... Yikes. Okay, we're all being in trouble. This is why I feel like I should do some back attacks more often than anything. Every time my Pokemon gets damaged... That makes this more perilous. Because it's not like I can just run to the Pokemon Center whenever. I'm trying to make this as hard as I canonically want to make it. Okay, we got a Wurmple. I'm going to go for the back strike. That way I don't have to worry about attacks. And I can get some experience for Starly faster. If Wumple would only turn its back. Just... Wumple. No, 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 Wumple. You need, you need to turn. I mean, you're docile, so it's not going to matter. But if you follow me... <laughs> Stop following me. Don't, don't follow me. There. See how... See how easy that was, guys? This is going to be a long series if I continue to play this way. Like I said, some of the trainer's Pokemon will absolutely one-shot my Pokemon if I'm not careful. There is a lot of strategy I have to keep in mind during this. Those are Shinx, aren't they? Shoot. Nope, 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 nope. We are running. We are running. We will dodge if we need to. We're going to need to dodge. What is that? That's a Starly. Alright, that's fine. Is one of them sleeping? Oh, I see the one sleeping. <laughs> I didn't even notice that one over there. Oh, it woke up. Oh, nope, nope, never mind. That was a different story. Like, no, that one's sleeping too. <laughs> okay, nope, that's fine. Alright! Thundershock! I'm gonna have to start coming up with names. Oh, right, 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 right. Go. This makes things a little bit easier when they're turning their backs to run from me. Free hit! Nothing wrong with free. Free for free for free for free for free. Free. Up oh, there it goes. <laughs> uh, okay. Like I said, we need to nickname some Pokemon, so I'm just going to go out and nickname this one. Zappy. <laughs> I didn't say they had to be good nicknames, they just need nicknames. So, we got Zappy the Shinx, which is going to come in clutch for me for quite a while. Dare I say, I might be using a lot of the same Pokemon. But, again, if they faint, they're out. And I'll have to catch a brand new one. Um. In order to use that Pokemon again. Something that usually won't be allowed in a Nuzlocke. But, again, this isn't an actual Nuzlocke. This is my own weird little carbon copy thing that... Hi. Hi. I guess I'm not fighting you. My own weird thing that I'm doing that 
Again, I hope will be entertaining. It will be long, unfortunately. That's not quite something I'm crazy about. But I hope will be entertaining. Remember, we have to survive. That's the main thing, is surviving. Wow, that was bad. It will suck. Also, we're pulls a flea, so. But it will suck if I lose any Pokemon during this run. But in the end, we have to be defending ourselves. That's the big thing. If we can't defend ourselves, then we are not going to survive in this very, very raw and dangerous place. Perfect. And again, we're gonna need to battle a lot of wild Pokemon anyways in order to improve my Pokedex. I'm starting to think it's never gonna turn to nighttime unless I finish these other missions. I probably have to go back to get some more potato mochi at some point, so... I guess this isn't technically official? But who cares? <laughs> yes, I should be talking to Dawn's ancestor or whoever she is, but... I still gotta prepare for the worst, right? No one's in the chat room. Boy, am I glad I removed that chat icon on my OBS. It was hard to look at with it being as empty as it usually is. Okay, if I can get Starly and Zappy. By the way, time to nickname Starly. If I can get those two plus Legolas to level 10, like list is level 10 now, then I will be satisfied. I'd like to also get Buizel there, but there aren't too many Pokemon that Buizel can fight that he has an advantage against, so... I feel like Legolas, Zappy, and whoever I am naming this, why don't I call you Wingo, because... <laughs> sure, why not? Not only is it Okay, first off, it's a female, so maybe a more respectable name, but I don't think I want to nickname my Starly based off a of boss of Captain Toad. Just saying. So what do I name you, though? Hmm. What do I name you? I could go with any name. It doesn't matter. I could go with a reference. It's just... There's so many choices for me where it's just hard for me to choose. <sighs> but it would help if I had suggestions. But that's not going to be the case. So. <sighs> I feel like I should wait for a male Starly. Slash Star Ravia slash Star Raptor if I'm going to call him Wingo. So I need to come up with something different. <laughs> Maybe Tulane? Tulane version 1? But probably not. I, I don't want to come up with like really weird creative nicknames. Because that's not what this is about. I just need to come up with something quickly. So... I had something at one point. My gosh, just be... This is what I hate, is sometimes just trying to come up with nicknames on my own. Because there are times when they come to mind just right away. 
because I've had some time to think them over. And then there's times where I'm just struggling to think of something. Like I said, I'm struggling to think of something. <sighs> Yikes. I could... Why does it have to be so difficult? Heck, let's just... You know what? <laughs> Enough with this nonsense. I'm going to pull up a random name generator. That's dumb. But at the same time, we're not getting anywhere with me just trying to figure out a name. So, here we go. Random name generator. Gender has to be feminine. Generate a name. Oh, <laughs> uh, that is an awful name, but... <laughs> I, I am sure some people might like it, so... Vivica! Vivica, I mean, I'm, it's starting to warm up to me. Vivica the Starly. Oh, Vivka, not Vivica. So, no I there. It's Vivka. The full name is Vivka Birgit. 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 B-I-R-G-I-T. <laughs> I don't know if I can type that whole thing in. I was I was thinking of a name that I would hear in United States, and maybe that was my fault for not clarifying that. But you know what? It's fine. I will accept it this time because I made that mistake. But there we go. Rivka or... No, Rivka or Rivka Burgett. Put Zappy's name to shame, I must say. But this is going to be great for the, absurd, the absurdity of this Let's Play. Slash challenge. Okay, Rivka, we need to find you some more wormples. Where are they? There should be plenty more wormples. These things spawn. Or respawn, I should say. Quite frequently. As do all Pokemon. But something tells me. Since I'm not exactly on the day-night cycle phase. That that might not happen. What is that? Oh! Pfft, that's a wormhole. That was not the back, but it should be fine. Wormholes have the tendency to run away from now rather than initiate it. You know what? I think we are good, good Gucci. Good and Gucci. Should probably start finding some bee deuce if I'm a little worried about how strong they are. But if I worry about every little thing, then nothing's gonna get done. Am I right or am I right? No, I will still not fight that rapid ass behind me. That ain't happening for any reason. <sighs> That's what I was worried about. No, 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 no. We're running. We're running. We're running. We're running. This is bad. This is bad. I don't like that at all. Legolas took some damage. Thanks to that really, really dumb move. If I fight Bidoof again, it's gonna be hitting them from the back. 
No, what did I just say about the Rapidash? Not that way. Anywhere but that way. Except for the way where the Luxio are. Can't go that way either. Or the Snorlax! Haven't even mentioned the Snorlax yet, but that thing will just down me in one hit. And my Pokemon. It will take one tackle and boom. All my tack all my Pokemon will faint. And we don't want that. Now I was right, I was afraid of this, but Rufflet is part flying, so those rock type moves are going to do a lot of damage, so I need to be careful when I'm pitting my Rufflet against a Geodude. Grass type moves will defeat rock type moves. Well, grass types are stronger against rock types, but rock types are strong against flying types. So if I don't get to get the first attack in, I could lose Legolas very quickly. Wow, I really am just running around doing nothing. Cool. I mean, at least I'm getting some medical leaks. Because, yes, I'm going to need to heal frequently. But other than that, I'm really not doing anything. Which sucks. Oh, yes. I guess the rocks reformed. But this was what I was talking about when I said pointless grinding. So, you know what? I think I have done enough. No more grinding. I'm almost an hour and 30 minutes. And I haven't even gotten past all the tutorials yet. I think it's time to move the story along. So, let's skip all the dialogue. Nice, now I got my own crafting kit. I forgot about that. So there's really no reason to go back to base camp, because I'll have my own crafting kit. By the way, I'm going to have inventory space problems very soon. So I'm going to have to figure that out as I'm playing the game. Oh, I guess I gotta go back to Levatin. Almost sounds like a place, but it's not. Fine. I'd say let's use Weird here, but that's against the... That's against the game's code anyways, or my version of the game code. Whatever the heck I'm trying to say. It's against the rules! Plus, I don't have him, so kind of makes it hard to do anything if I don't have said Pokemon. I'd also like to quickly mention, I don't know how to evolve every single Pokemon. So, like, trying to evolve Stantler into Weirdeer, no clue. Absolutely none. On my main game, I'm waiting until I've evolved all the Pokemon I do know how to evolve. Um. <laughs> whatever I was about to say. Shoot, what was I about to say? I already forgot. Gosh dang it. See, I feel like I already broke the whole B doof. Starly Shinx thing because I'm only supposed to catch one It doesn't matter if the other ones were mandatory. It's not like they came up to me and said catch me catch me So I feel like I already broke my own rule Just because I abided by a completely different rule that I didn't even set in stone So how is this going? Poorly! I'm still a no star member! Oh no. I can't complete more tasks. 
<laughs> oh, guys, we're in so much trouble. Because I'm not catching every single Pokemon I see, this is going to be way harder. Oh, no. My heart just sunk so hard. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's kind of funny, but it's also so bad. So agonizingly sad. Okay, well... Whatever, Pokemon's gonna keep coming back. It doesn't matter which ones, they're gonna keep coming back anyways. Like that Storly. You know what, Storly? You, you seem like a good one to fight. Let's fight! I should also focus on getting some potions brewed up. Oh. Okay, well, Storly ran away. Nice. So now that I have my own crafting kit, I don't need to go back to base camp for anything. There should be no reason that I should head back to base camp. So, we'll craft 26 of those. I don't think I'm going to worry about Pokeballs right now because I need the... The heck? Oh, that was my Shinx. Uh, I need the apricorns to make stronger Pokeballs, like Great Balls and Ultra Balls, and please don't take this out of context! Balls. <laughs> I could have just, I could have just not said anything, but no, no, I had to open my big fat mouth. Of course I did. Oh, my. Alright, cool. Yep, this is going well. This is going well. Hi ho, there you go. This is going well. <laughs> Only 75% more percentage until I get one star rank, guys. This is going well. This is why I said I really need to grind out my Pokemon, but hot dang dong diggity did I not realize just how much so. This is just... This is gonna be the whole entire Let's Play. I am not gonna get to the next place until the third, fourth stream, depending on how long I stream next time. Yikes. It's possible talking to Lobbington, which I would need to do anyways to upgrade my rank, so I'm gonna have to take back what I just was talking about. It's possible every time I talk to Lobbington and get an upgrade on my Pokédex that everything just starts responding anyway. Oh, hey, the music! Yay! The pretty music, and the sky's getting brighter. You were stuck on sunrise mode, but now the game has officially begun. Forget when I said that like an hour ago. Now the game's officially begun. Because now we have day turning to night. We ha have a freaking Mime Jr. right there. Are you kidding me? That's a good capture. But I gotta be careful because this one will attack if aggravated. And yes, throwing a Pokeball at it is going to make it very, very aggravated. Get ready to run. Alright, there we go! Mime Jr. caught! I guess I can also switch out my Pokemon. Or that I have to switch out my Pokemon. 
by heading over to base camp. So updating my Pokédex and switching out Pokémon as well as releasing them. That is the only reason I should ever go to base camp. Are we clear on the rules yet? Because I feel like I'm going to have to add more later. <laughs> this Nuzlocke thing would not work. I, I'm going to be straight up honest. How can a Nuzlocke work? Also, I do not see the bug anywhere. There it is. How is a Nuzlocke going to work if you're starting from the very beginning? And you still have to be able to get a one-star rating. Like, you'd have to defeat, like, every single Wurmple and Starly and everything else just to get that ranking. Nuzlocke would be way harder than what I'm doing. Don't get me wrong, this is still very difficult and not advisable for the casual audience. But, oh, Nuzlocke would make things way worse because you have to get a one-star ranking in order to progress further into the story. Heck, you probably have to get more than that just to go to certain locations. This is going to be a mess, guys! I honestly want to legit see someone try to Nuzlocke this game because it's going to be way harder than they realize. Or maybe they do realize it and they're just trying to prepare themselves for the worst because... Whew! This is gonna get worse. So here we go. I've already committed to this. And aside from these very long, pointless hours that I waste on the stream leveling up my team. I still feel like this is going to be entertaining in a way. Alright! So, will it be Silcoon or Cascoon? Silcoon or Cascoon? Silcoon or Cascoon? Let's find out! It's Silcoon! Yay! Well, that sells it. Your name is... I forget. <laughs> Give me a sec. Uh... Why am I forgetting the name? Come on, Brenton. Are you serious? Am I... I'm gonna look this up. I'm, I'm so upset at myself, but I'm not gonna waste your time trying to figure it out. It might come to mind in just a moment, but... No, that's all the basic characters. I want the character. Yeah, her. I want her. What is her name? Come on. What is her name? Chloe! That's what it was. <laughs> See? I totally didn't know what I was doing. Okay. Um, how do I spell that? C-H-O-L, I think? Let me just double check because I could be wrong. The L's supposed to be to come after the H, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was wrong. L-O-E. Chloe. Let me just double, quadruple check. I won't bother with the last name because it's not going to fit. But you all know who I'm trying to reference, right? Right. 
Why is there a red dot? Oh, that must mean that it's recording. Or that it's live. One of the two. Well, now that I waited that long, now it's gonna take forever for the next song to happen. Yay! This is gonna really help with my Pokédex, though. I'm not sure if Shinx is ready, but... I'm gonna start defeating something that's not just a bug or a beaver. So there we go! Yeah, Bleasel's level 3. We're fine. We are fine. feel like this section's a little too easy. <laughs> I don't know. If I had to adjust the rules for a different run, I will. This is just kind of a test version. Just me dipping my toe into this crazy idea of mine because I have so many crazy ideas, let's be honest. Not used to the lower voice of the guy, of the male character, I should say. Did you know that people mistake my voice to be a girl on the phone? That's fun when that happens. I understand it because my voice is way higher than most male voices are. Although I can always adjust my voice if I want to. But it's just pretty embarrassing when it keeps happening. TBH. I need to be careful about overleveling my Pokemon, though. Because at some point, if I overlevel them, they won't listen to me, and that will be super bad. I need as much power in my team as I can. That was not what I meant to do, but... <laughs> wow, I actually start to sweat the... Whoa! Please, so strong! You know what? Let's try out our first Agile move! It might even get me some points on my Pokédex. Maybe. Now that my Pokemon are starting to, uh, receive some damage, I think it's time we start spamming those potions. Potions are going to be super important. The most important thing to this run, period. Exclamation mark. Etc. Okay, fine. I won't fight you. Sunset, guys. Now the game is gonna play exactly as you know it. And now I gotta deal with Ghastly. Oh, excuse me, not Ghastly. Drifloon. Ghastly come way later. But hey, this gives me a chance to catch a ghost type. I just can't be seen by them, because if they attack me, yeah, that will be bad. Oh, I thought something was trying to attack me. <laughs> Probably. He saw me. Fine! Are you gonna run? You ran. She ran. Rip a loony. Okay, now I can get more berries and apricorns. So I guess this. Huh? 
Oops. Threw Shinx in a little too soon. Alright, that did a little bit of chip damage. It's fine. We can deal with the teeny bit of chip damage. It's not too bad. Dang it. Please don't attack. Dang it. Even if the Pokemon's a lower level, they still have a good chance at priority move. Meaning they'll go first. I'll have to wait. And I don't like waiting. Okay. By the way, it's night now. The ghostly balloons are out. And the game got that much more dangerous. See, I really feel like I need to limit how much I farm. Ooh, another Ponita. I can't catch it. Because I already caught one. Holy be doof. Um, but I can fight it. No, 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 no. There we go. I hate when the focus is on a separate Pokemon and I can't change which Pokemon to focus on. Oh dear. Okay, right. I stunned it, so... She's not gonna get an attack on Weasel. Add that to my Pokédex! Yes! If I can just catch a Drifloon, I might have enough to be a one-star. What's that word I say? I already forgot what it was. Rip the dream. Not that word. Oh my gosh. Priorities. That's what it was. I just say priorities in a ironic manner. Because it's like, there are other things that you could be doing that's way more important than what you're doing right now. I no. Those are my priorities. What the? Oh! Oh, I didn't expect that! Okay, that is like the first time I've seen a Silcoon or Cascoon in this area. Oh my gosh, I'm so lucky Drifloon turned around. There we go, Drifloon caught! I gotta make sure I don't accidentally catch a Pokemon. I don't have any fire types. No! And Legolas, I uh, don't think he knows Peck. So. Let's see. He knows Roost. Oh, pff, he knows Gus. Duh. I could just go with Gus. Why am I thinking? Legolas, go! Let's be our first Cascoon and get even more done on the Pokédex because apparently that's going to be very important in this run. Not going to be easy since I can't catch every single Pokémon. We all knew that was going to be the case. I don't like this. I don't have a Pokemon that's good against ghost types. Or that can resist ghost types. So we are going to run. Oh dear. Oh no, not the Shinx. Fight the Wurmple. 
I should probably start using aerial eggs. That way I can start getting the skull for that, so I can start doing agile and strong attacks with aerial ace. I love this night music here. It just sounds so mysterious, yet so breathtaking at the same time. So, should I stick around and try to do other meaningless tasks, or should I check with Lovington, or whatever his name is pronounced as, and get this show on the road? Why am I asking any of you? No one's here to answer that question. So, we'll go to Lovington, because I've wasted far too much time, and I have no more time to waste, honestly. So this would be a good place to stop off. Okay, I think I'm free. No. No, that's bad. Gonna have to bolt. Gonna have to run. I'm just gonna have to run past that drift loom. So I don't feel comfortable battling it. Except, okay, no, 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 no. I do. Because Driftloon's part flying type and Zappy is a pretty big high level. So you know what? I change my mind. I'm going after Driftloon. Besides, that's just going to add more to the Pokédex and that is a good thing. Every time something like that happens, I start to worry. I worry a lot. No, 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 no. Don't lose Zappy. Not now. Not this early. Jeez, that Drifloon was tanky. It was level two. It was a level two Drifloon. <laughs> My poor Shinx. Is at 25% HP! You think that is a problem? I do! Whatever, we survived, it's fine. Lavington! I did as much as I could. Please accept it. I only caught two Pokemon. Please accept it. They're playing the music. That's good. That usually means you achieve something pretty significant. So, let's see. Come on, move the bar up. Up, 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 up. There we go. I did it. Now I'm thrusted back into the village without any say. But you know what? Considering... Some of the stuff that happened? I feel like this was a pretty good first stream, in a sense. Not perfect, I probably could have done this a lot faster. But considering, it could have been way worse, so... I am pretty content with my progress. Caught a Mime Jr., a Ponita, Evolved Wurmple in the Silcoon. <laughs> and now I can use those. No, no, no. Don't bother joking about it in the main Let's Play. Let's just talk about referencing the implications of it in a sub series. Doesn't matter. I am ready. Let's do this. Give me that potato mochi. I deserve it. It took freaking forever to earn it, but yeah, there we go. Gotta go through all that dialogue.
We did it! We got the first serving of potato mochi. We're moving up in the world. Still got that big hole in the sky to solve, but we're a long cry from that. Long cry from that. I gotta fight her, don't I? <sighs> okay, she's probably going to have a Pikachu. So this is going to suck. Am I going to lose my first Pokemon? Oh no. The first thing I'm thinking is using Shinx. Because if I throw my Rowlet in there, my flying type Al, it's going to end so poorly that I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to recover from it mentally. I might be exaggerating a bit, but it will definitely end poorly. So Zappy... Dang it, Zappy, you're going to have to carry this whole entire team. So, what... What's on your mind, Akari? Love your Pikachu. It's a male. It's the Pikachu that my male... <laughs> Is the Pikachu that the male protagonist... No, not protagonist. Uh, NPC carry a female? Or is it just random? Whatever, here we go. This is going to be a real battle this time. This means there's a real chance there will be real casualties. Pikachu's level 9. Already hate that. Okay, I got another question. Should I allow the action order? I didn't before, but that was because I didn't realize what button I needed to press to make it happen. But I feel like having the action order there is kind of cheating in a sense. So I think I'm going to keep it off. There we go! Zappy got a little bit of damage, but thanks to that very good strategy of using an electric type against the electric type, I was able to tank the first attack, use agile quick attack to get an additional move, and win! Oh, Pikachu's not happy with. Akari's performance. But don't worry, we've got plenty of time. Boy, you showed up early. I forgot about that. Uh, we got plenty of time to improve ourselves. Both me and my competitors. I just need to be stronger than them. I always need to be stronger than them. Survival of the fittest, SpongeBob! Survival of the fist! My... Really, my? Who is my? Oh! Oh, wait, I know who my is. Well, I've got five minutes before I need to leave, so I guess that's going to be it. Although, I could change up my Pokemon and also see if I'm allowed to release multiple Pokemon at the same time now. No, not yet. The heck? Oh! I'm used to having so many Pokemon. Yikes, okay. Uh, I don't think I should use Bidoof. So, I'm going to... Replace Bidoof with Ponita. Pasture 8. Uh, give me a sec. It's just gonna be called Dead. Cause I'm just hilarious like that. Hmm.
I almost kind of want to put Chloe on the sidelines. <sighs> I need to level up my team enough for everyone. So... <laughs> Can you... Have you noticed I barely have done any Nuzlocks? I, I don't know if that's come across quite yet, but... It might be kind of important for you guys to know that I have barely done any Nuzlocks before. So, uh... Yeah, this is just the beginning of the end, I suppose. But that's going to be it for this episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus! The Wild Run! Or whatever I decide to name this. So, until my next streams, which hopefully will be frequently, I'd like to just kind of start streaming more actively despite my situation. But till then, this has been We to Play. I got nothing left to say, so I hope you enjoy your day. Take care out there, and I will catch you later. I will just never let go of this whole neighbor thing, will I? <laughs> <laughs>